You're watching Skylands, the local bird's eye view. My name is Bart and I will be your host and pilot in command for this episode. In light of Women's History Month, I thought it would be nice to introduce my co-pilot Nadia as the guest narrator for this episode. More on that later. Today's mission takes us to Wanakee and the long-forgotten Erie Railroad. But first, in the spirit of last week's episode about Pleasureland, this week I have a new Guess Where I Am contest and a chance to win a Skylines t-shirt. I'm about to play a 10-second clip of a location in Passaic County, New Jersey. Alright, so if you think you know where I am, hit that subscribe button, put it in the comments below. Person to get it closest, or most accurately, wins a free t-shirt. Did you know that Wanakew was home to two train stops along the Erie Railroad line? They were named Midvale and Haskell Station. The history of Wanakew starts to unfold in today's episode of Skylines. But before we go any further, I want to thank Bruce Matthew for his support of my channel and for his contribution to this week's episode. So without further ado, sit back, relax, kick your feet up, and enjoy the show. Welcome to what was once the Midvale train station. Completed in 1872, Midvale station is our first stop along the Montclair branch of the Greenwood Lake Railway. Fun fact, it is assumed Midvale was the name given because of its geographic position in the middle of a valley between the Windbeam Mountains and the Westbrook Mountains to the northwest. The Greenwood Lake Railroad was responsible for bringing many new settlers to the area. The railroad was used to transport vacationers to Greenwood Lake and the newly constructed Ringwood Lakes. The railroad also served the many residents that were employed by the Wanakew Paper Mill and the DuPont plant. Some of the structures around the Midvale station still stand. Check out some of these old photos we found from the Midvale train stop area. Our second stop is where Haskell Station once stood, near Dotty Road. Fun fact, Haskell is named after a colonel that headed the Latin Rand Company. There are also two Haskell brothers, probably related to Colonel Haskell, who managed the DuPont plant on the west side of the Wanakee River. When the railroad engineers would ask as to which DuPont plant to drop the cargo, a popular response for the west side was to drop it on the Haskell side. This area of Pompton Township below Railroad Avenue had been referred to as Wainoki prior to this time. Wanakew was known as a company town because the DuPont factory employed upwards of 5,000 people, along with a paper mill that existed for a long time. But around the turn of World War I, 
the DuPont factory closed and the paper mill was demolished to make room for the reservoir. The residents were hit hard because they lost their livelihoods. According to research, it felt as though that event marked the beginning of the end of this rail line. Around World War II, the community started to slowly recover due to tourism. Tourists began flocking towards neighboring Ringwood with its brand new Three Lake communities, in addition to Greenwood Lake. Wanakew recovered. The population grew from 3,100 in the 1940s to 4,200 in the 1950s and again to 7,100 in the 1960s. Then, at 7.55 on Friday, September 30th, 1966, Locomotive 1421 departed the Wanaku Midville Station for the last time, closing a chapter in Wanaku's history. Both of the train stations in our area now long gone. Midville Station burnt down, the tracks have been hauled off, and the land has become a path for power lines until it was recently reopened as a walking trail. As for the Haskell station, nothing is left of the railroad station. Just what's written and memories. Thanks for watching. There are more photos available to browse on our blog. The link is in the description. If you enjoyed the episode, please support us by giving us a thumbs up below. We will return to Wanaku to tell the story of the mines and the reservoir on future episodes of Skylands, so press the subscribe button below so you don't miss out. With that, Pilot in Command, signing off.